Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ray and this is Ray's Budget and welcome to another segment of Save Day Sunday. Guys, you know the drill, it is Sunday, so that means I am going to be stuffing my savings challenges and maybe some of you are going to be stuffing yours as well. Either way, let's get into it. Hey guys, happy Save Day Sunday. I hope all is well. If it sounds like I'm rushing, I am going to try my best not to guys, but I have been doing a lot of thinking. And your girl is doing too many savings challenges. My daughter <laughs> had called me, I want to say last Tuesday or whatever the case may be. And she was like, mom, mom. And I said, what, Michaela? She said, look, your videos on Sunday are way too long. I said, I know, I know. I just love doing savings challenges. And guys, my problem is when I create a savings challenge for you guys when I put it in my shop. I want to do those savings challenges as well. And as y'all can see, I always have those savings challenges during my Save Day Sundays. So that if you guys have my challenges, then we can do them together. But I need to stop doing that. I can just, when I do create a challenge, I can just put them in my little arsenal of savings challenges that I have and get to them when I can. Guys, I'm probably doing about... 20 or so savings challenges between all of these and the ones that I do on Thursdays during my weekly cash stuffing. For me, that's a lot of savings challenges. And guys, I also want to start doing a segment on Mondays. I'm not going to tell y'all what it's all about right now, but I'm going to have to um, get rid of some of these savings challenge or hurry, challenges or hurry up and get them done. And um, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long like the last one was. So we're going to go ahead and count this money and get it into the cash tray. And this should be a little over $300. We have, let me take this out first. This is money that goes into my savings challenge reserve. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, goodness, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 323 dollars, guys, and a lot of that money is pretty rough, as y'all can see. Now, the very first savings challenge we are going to do is the travel savings challenge, and we're actually going to finish this card off today. And in order to do so, I need to put forty dollars into this challenge. 25 and 15 makes 40. So let's go ahead and mark this off. But yeah, guys, I need to calm down with all of these challenges. So we're going to do 10, 20, and 40. So we're going to put this in here. Put it in the completed pouch. And guys, for this travel challenge, we only have... One more card left to go. So I'm going to set that off to the side. And we are going to go ahead and stuff this $40 into this challenge. So we have 20 and 40. Let's see what we have in the travel challenge. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 470 dollars, guys. That is awesome. So the very next savings challenge we are going to move to is odds and evens. So let me get that out the back here. Let me make sure you guys can see it. Okay, and I have moved you guys in a little bit. So with this challenge, we are on round. We're doing round. Um, we're probably going to do about two rounds, and we're on the even round. So let me get out my marker so we can get to um, plan. So here we go. 
we have a three and a one. Neither of those are evens, guys. So let's mark that even, and we're going to put four into this challenge. So let's, um, we're going to take a one out of here, and we're going to pull a five. Let's go again. We are on odds now, right? So that's five. We're going to pull a five. And since we're on odds, we can mark off the three, but we cannot mark off the two. And guys, we are um, done with all of the threes. Let's go again. We are on odds, so that is five more dollars, goodness. Five, and let's mark off the odds, and we get to mark off a one this time. Actually, we're going to be able to do a couple more rounds since these are low numbers. All righty, so we are on evens, right? Six and five is 11. Let's pull out $11. And since we are on evens, we get to mark off a six. We cannot mark off a five because that's an odd number. So we are going to be done. Let's go ahead and move this off to the side and let's see how much we're adding to odds and evens this week. It's a pretty good amount. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 dollars, guys. That is awesome. So let's put that into what we currently have. We have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. We have 60 dollars here, and we have all of these rounds to still go, or we have all of these numbers to still mark off. Whichever one we complete first, you will be done with the challenge at that point. So let's go ahead and put this up. Okay, guys, next we are going to do less glow. And let's finish off these fives and then put in 10 as well. So that's going to be $15. So let me go ahead and get that colored in. And that's 15. So let's add $15 into the Less Glow Challenge. So 10, 15. We now have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. $45 and the goal for this challenge is $150. Next, guys, we have 20, 24s. And we're actually going to put $24 into this this week since I didn't get to show it any love last week. So let's go ahead and mark off one of these 24s. And with this challenge, it's exactly what it is. 20 24s you have. You save $24 20 times for the year 2024. Once you're done, you'll save $480. So let's do 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's add this to what we already have. And see where we're at. 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 44 dollars, guys. If and if I didn't mention in the beginning of 144, I'm sorry. If I didn't mention it in the beginning of the video, we are actually going to be completing a couple of challenges today as well. Next, we're moving to my Level Up Challenge, and today we are going to be doing a $15 contribution into Level 3. Now, with Level 3, once you've completed this level, you will save $300. There is four levels to this challenge, and once you complete each level, you will save a total of $1,000. So let me go ahead and get this opened, and let's put $15 in here, 10 15 and for level up level three towards the $300 go we have 10 20 30 35 40 45 dollars and guys next week we will move to level four which is $20 now next real quick guys I want to move this money into my savings challenge reserve this is money from my last um cash stuffing and if you haven't checked out that video i will put it in i cards and down in the description box but we are putting into the reserve 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 
$21 into the reserve, guys. Next, guys, we are going to do the Cute Savers Challenge. And just as a FYI, um, the majority of these savings challenges I created, but there are a couple, including this one, that were created by um, other Etsy shop owners. But if you're interested in any of these challenges, the links will be down in the description box. Now, today for the Cute Saver Challenge, we are actually going to finish off the Chic Saver Challenge, um, which is a $100 challenge. So we're going to, um, in order to complete this, I need to put $25 into this challenge, guys. So we are going to do 15, 5 is 20, and another 5 is 25. So let's add $25 to this challenge, and we should be at $100. Once I'm done with this complete binder, I will save $500, and this $500 is going, going to go toward my dress and my shoes um, and whatever I need for my daughter's wedding next year. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, $100, guys. So we are actually at $300 for this challenge. I only have $200 to go, which means I only have two more challenges within this binder to complete. Next, guys, we are going to move into my Little Boss Savings Challenge. And with this binder, guys, this houses all of my savings challenges that once I'm done completing the challenge, it's $100 or less. The very first one we are going to do is the Monthly Roll and Save Challenge. And let's see. We have two sections to go, so let's go ahead and roll the die to see what we get. Okay, we got a one. So we're going to put a one there. We're actually going to go ahead and complete March today. So let's do another one. Three. So that's a total of four dollars. So let's do one, two, three, four. And let me color this in really quick. Alrighty, so guys, I just started this this month since I had just created it. Um, so what we're going to do is see how much we actually saved in the monthly roll and save for the month of March. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. That is awesome. So what I'm going to do is just write $33 on here. And I'm going to just move this to the back. And then in April, guys, we are going to start the April roll and save. Next, we are going to do hands and bands $300 week by week challenge. And today, guys, we are going to be putting $3 in. So let me go ahead and mark out this three. And this should take us to $9, right? So we're going to take this one, put it in here, and we, no, Raquel, one, <laughs> one, two, three. I don't know why I was going to do that. And so we should have $9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we are going to put this back in here. Okay, guys, next we are going to do my multiply and save. I am in love with this challenge. It's a very uh, low budget challenge. All you do is roll the die. Whatever die you roll, you multiply that by one of these numbers in here. You can choose whichever number you want. Now, if you're one of my people that can save a little bit more, roll two of the die that you receive with this challenge. I am only rolling one because I'm doing a lot of challenges, so let's get to it. We have a four, so we are going to, let's do the one. And I'm gonna get out my calculator. So that's four, right? We have a three. So we are going to do this three 
get one of these big ones out the way. So three times three is nine. So plus nine, we're at 13. We have a two. So let's do this two. So that's four dollars. And let's do one more. We have another two. So let's do this two. So plus four. So today we need to put $21 into this challenge. We're going to do 20 and one. And let's see where this takes us to for the multiply and save. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. $65, guys. And I'll probably continue to do this next month once we finish this um, round. Okay, guys. Next, we have the Affirmation Challenge. This challenge was created by Income Babes. And we're actually going to finish this challenge today. Um, so let's see here. Let me get a red crayon, and we're going to go ahead and mark these off. Each of these envelopes I've designated $5 for. So that is going to be a total of $15 we're going to be putting in this challenge today. And since I am finishing it right, today is the 17th, so we're going to put 317 Let's go ahead and put 15, 10, 15. We should have $30 here. $10, 20, 25, 30, and we do. So I'm going to take this and move it off to the side. Well, you know what? Let me put it back in here first. And this is going to go into my completed savings challenge binder. Okay, guys, now it's time to play um, It Takes Two to Tangle. And with this savings challenge, it's pretty simple to do. All you do is roll a die. And um, whatever die you roll, you're going to save that number, right? But in order for you to cross off the two, it has to be an even number. That is how you save more money. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> we have a one. So that's going to be $1, but we cannot mark off anything. Let's go again. We have another one. Wow. All righty. One. We have a six. So we're going to do five and six. And guys, guess what? We get to mark off a number two because six is an even number. Let's keep going. We have another six. Well, all right. Five and six. And let's mark off another two. Let's do it one more time, guys. How much is that? Let me see. Um, we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. Let's do one more row. We have a three. We cannot mark off a two, but we're going to pull $3 out. Let me see if I have two here. One, two, and I do. So we're going to put that two in there and take out five. And so for today, and it takes two to tangle, we have five, 10, 15, 16. And let's add that to what we already have. So when it takes two to tango, so far we have... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. That is awesome. So let's put this back in here. Oh, wait a minute. I still got this one here. 43, um, guys. Next, we have the mini basketball um, savings challenge. And we're actually going to finish the savings challenge today. And in order for me to finish it, I need to put in 6, 6, 6 plus 5, I need to put in $23. So let's do 20, 1, 2, 3. And so, guys, what I'm going to do real quick is go offline, color in all of these basketballs, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, all of the basketballs have been colored in. We should have $44 since we've completed this challenge, but let's check it out. 
20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we do. So, 317. Let's go ahead and get this back in here. And pull this out. Next, we are going to do my March Madness Challenge. And with my March Madness Challenge, you will roll the die, right? And um, save that amount. If you roll a two or a three, you have to double that amount. So, let's go. We have a six. So, five, six. And let me put that here. We have a four. Still didn't roll a two or a three. So we have a four, right? So what I'm gonna do is put this six back and take a 10. So that's a 10. We have another four. <laughs> so one, two, three. No, I don't wanna do that. Um, let me see if I have a one in here. And I do. So I'm gonna take this one put it in here and take a five okay and let's do what's that 14 let's do one more row all right we got a two y'all so we're going to put a four there but i'm going to circle it and we have to put four dollars into this challenge since we wrote a two two means double since that's a four i'm going to take this Five, no. One, two, three, four. I'm going to just take it and make change later. So today in March Madness, we are putting a total of 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars into this challenge. And we may be able to get done with this one next week, depending upon what we roll. But let's see. How much we have so far 10 20 25 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 and so real quick one two three four five and i'm going to take this five awesome okay so next we are going to do um springtime savings and this is a bundle where once you're done with all of the challenges, you will save a total of $250. It's very budget friendly. And today we are on blooming savings. And today, let me see. We are going to do, let's do five, one, seven, four, three. Let's do a total of $20. So, let's mark off the five, the four, no, that's a one, five, one, seven, four, and three for a total of $20. Let's do 10 and 20. And the goal for Blooming Savings is $60. So, let's see where we're at. 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. $37 in blooming savings. Let's put that back in there. Next, we're going to move to rock, paper, scissors, guys. And we're actually going to finish this challenge today. And so what I want to do is go ahead and um, scratch off all of these and see how much we need to put in. So we have a scissor, right? Scissors are worth $7. We have paper. Paper's worth five. We have another pair of scissors. So that's another seven. We have a rock. A rock is worth $3. We have another scissors, so that's seven. And then lastly, we have another paper. 
So that's plus five. So that's thirty-four dollars. Clean this off real quick. So we are going to be putting thirty-four dollars in this challenge, guys, and we should end up with sixty dollars since we're finishing it. So we're going to do. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, $34, so we now have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, so we are done with rock, paper, scissors, and I'm getting stuff everywhere. So let's go ahead and take this one out, set that right there, and lastly guys, we are going to be doing small savings equals big wins, bundle number three, and just as a FYI guys, bundle number four, I've already um, created it, it is ready to go, I will introduce it to you guys during my last Save Day Sunday in this month. So, we have 20, 25, 26, 27, $28 left. And I think that is enough to be able to complete this entire bundle. So, um, the goal for this bundle, guys, is $307. And we are on the last um, challenge with, within this bundle, which is level level up many so let me add these together we have one two three four five so that's 20 then we have five ten fifteen thirty five dollars do i have thirty five dollars here one two three four no i don't okay well that's cool i have 24 so we'll actually be able to finish it next week so let me set this here And since we have 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 20. Hmm. So 15. Let's do. Let's do the fives, right? And of course, it's the wrong color. So that's going to be 15. 15 plus 8 is 23. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do those three fives and two fours. And we should be able to get done with this next week. So that is going to be 23. I still have a one left over. And we're just going to put this in here. And since I have a one... Let's go back to springtime savings. Do I have one in here? Ah, there we go, guys. This happened last week where I had a couple dollars left over and I was able to put it into this challenge. And now I cannot find my pen. Here we go. So we're going to mark out this one and then put this dollar in here. And I am not going to recount it, guys. So now, real quick, we are going to put my finished challenges into my completed savings challenge binder. Okay, guys, this is my completed savings challenge binder. And these are the savings challenges I completed today. So let's go ahead and get them in here really quick. So we already uh, finished rolling stuff the bag. And that is it. So good. We get to put some more in here now. This makes me so, so, so excited, guys. And hopefully next week we'll get to finish some more. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Because, guys, that helps out my channel a lot. And, guys, if you don't have your um, post notification bells turned on, please make sure that you have those turned on so that you don't miss any of my videos. Guys, I will see you on Tuesday, I think. I'm not sure, but, guys, have a great week. God bless. Bye, guys.